Hello survivors, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be doing my broken heart token pulls on the, on the wheel. Um, I've been saving my tokens to the, effectively the last day. We've got a bit, quite a bit in war. Um, I have already redeemed everything in the museum as you can see um, in my collections. We managed to get the, the extra pen and paper from uh, pen and envelope from war which was great. A lot of people were kind of anxious about that. Um, it's nice to see that as much as it did say it was premium, it was for people who just um, you know, did well in, in, in war. It wasn't even, didn't even have to do that well. You only had to get 5k points. It wasn't too bad. So on this region, I think I'm at just under 10k or 9.5k. And on my other region, I might be just around 7k. I'm not sure. So again, I'm not too bothered what I get. Um, but Aiden's and Lilith's would be pretty nice. Just because I think they're harder to come by. Uh, or Ulysses. Um, I think... Benedict is pretty is pretty sweet, but at the same time, I can use any five star to use this fodder, and I've got a lot of fodder. Um, whereas those, uh, you know, those um, AR increases and, and active skill increases, they're much rarer. The only problem about this is it's going to take up nine slots in my roster. That's the only problem. Okay, I'm going to do my pull now on Lilith. I'll do it on Lilith. Let's try and get a few Aidens. Not too many of these, please. Okay, we get a Bernie. Oh no! <laughs> like the one, the ones you definitely don't want. So we we got done. We got done. I think that's probably the worst I could have got, mainly because I don't run alert and tough on this t on this region. Although I have been thinking about um, making a tough. Uh, making my tough Dwight six star and maybe a Mirabelle as well just to have a small option maybe for faction assault or something um, so that wouldn't be too bad and they'd be mainly on attack as well so I'd actually want to increase their um, their active skills because I think active skills are only really useful on attack when you have full control if it's on defense it can actually be quite detrimental to your own defense I get one I guess that I'd use which is Shirley and five and the five star and Benedict. I guess these two fast ones aren't too bad. I have got a couple of fast characters. Actually, potentially, I'm going to use these on um, on Maggie. So that's actually not too bad. Let me just check out Maggie's um, Maggie's. Where is she? She's on the other wheel. Uh, Maggie's. I think it's a heel. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's not a command. Yeah, it's a heel. So I probably won't. Okay, I probably won't. Oh well, um, but at least I've got those. I, I mainly run melee teams, so those I think I've got three for me. But I, I have have been thinking about ascending Mirabel and Dwight just to have a a small option for attacking as well. So I'm going to switch over to my other region where I hope to get a little bit more fortune. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm in my second region and same sort of deal. I, I claimed everything in the museum. Everything was done. I'm just under 8k. I was slightly tempted to buy a crate, but it was like 300 gold, and I was just like. I'm not really, I, I mean, I'm not really that bothered. Um, so I will just hold on. And again, anything I can get in terms of Liliths, that sort of thing, would be good. Okay, we get one decent one. That's like good. Okay. Okay, I need tough alert on this region. And I don't okay. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, we get a five star trainer as well. I think that's it. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, at least I've got them as options. The only big, the biggest problem about this is the ones I don't want to use. They're just going to sit in my roster for a very long time. That's the only problem I've got. That's. I mean, I'll claim these. I mean, I get Ulysses. I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Benedict's okay. I've got tons of them already. But I kind of would have wanted some Lilith and Aidens. I didn't get too much fortune there. Um, but I'll, I'll show you my inventory in the general tab, and you can see I've got lots of crates in here, just sitting here with trainer crates. All of these have got trainers in them. Every single one is trainers. Where I think where it just says trainer crates, it's like it could be a Lilith or Ulysses. You know, I've got quite a lot. I've got quite a lot. Um, and that's because these have all got cr um, like the trait trainers in them. And I don't want to just have them taking up my roster space, which is like overloaded as it is. 315 out of 300 now. Fantastic. So I might actually have, like, not have to, but potentially ascend some characters. I have been thinking about sending Barker just f 
for maybe like faction assault and stuff could be quite fun. But his active skill is trash. Like I mean, it's yeah. Um, but I mean, in terms of Benedicts, I'm okay. I've got quite a few. Um, we did get one here, right? Yeah, we did get another one. I'll lock that one. Okay. I've got some from War. I've got the crate from War, which I haven't opened. Um, I, I think I think Ulysses and Aidens were the ones that I really wanted, and Lilith, of course. So I've got a few Aidens. But now I've got Mr. Fr Francis taking up space, Miss Shirley, and Trevor. That's great. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I the second um, what's it, what's his name, Governor, becomes out, I'm going to send him, so that'll get rid of some of my Liliths potentially. But definitely, well, actually, 100% get rid of some of my Liliths. Um, but potentially some Ulysses as well. I think his his active skill is actually like to stop burn, which isn't again isn't that great. So I'm hoping these come into some use. Um, it wasn't the greatest of pulls. I have seen some people get really lucky with Aidens. I would have really liked some Aidens. Even though I've got loads, I, they're much more usable. I'm, I'm almost definitely going to raise the AR of characters when I get them. Unless they're a particular character. Say, um, Ezekiel, I won't raise the AR of, for instance. Although I could raise his AR just because I'm never going to really use this guy on defense. Because I have a, a ranged defense team. So I could potentially raise his AR and his active skill because... Then I only use them on attack, so I'd have control of that. Okay, well, I'll think about it. Hopefully some of you got lucky with your pulls, though. Um, I think this event was okay. It was reasonable. It wasn't too hard. I saw it as just a side event, um, which is nice to have, like, these... Every now and again, these short-term events. This only lasted a week, exactly. So the second it started, it was less than a week. Um, I don't mind this too much. I kind of prefer somewhere in between what they do as the large events and somewhere and and this event so like the large events they make last like a month and this event they make it last a week i like some two-week events like well structured something like creative and new and something that feels fresh um i know it's very they're very limited but it would be it would be nice um We'll see what happens. I, I I do miss the um we only had it once, the call to arms event where like the entire region was working together, um, trying to get some even if it was just basic rewards, you know, you could have Lilith or, you know, fifty legendary tokens as the the rewards there, you know. Or maybe like a five star. You could have a five star character in there now that isn't, you know, too amazing. Um, I don't know. But yeah, like I say, hopefully some of you got lucky with your pools, got what you wanted. It's gonna be usable. Be it train, you know, be it a five-star trainer for fodder, or some active um, guys to increase those active skills, or you know, Lilith or Aiden to get those ARs up. But as as always, guys, keep on surviving. As this is the end of the video, so yeah, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.